hi everyone welcome to the video solution this is uh, just a very short video for uh, one question from uh, uh, IAL mathematics c12 June 2018 and it's all about question number six uh, so let's uh, start uh, find the exact value of x for which uh, two log of 5x plus 5 minus 2 log of 5 2x plus 2 equal to 2 give your answer as simplified thirds so the idea of solution of these types of question it uh, basically these are logarithmic uh, equation in which you have two logs uh, involved or maybe three it, it doesn't matter so idea of uh, solving these types of question is you will have to gather all the log at one side of the equal and rest of the numbers should be on the other side so that you can apply logarithmic laws on that so if you see that you have just two terms involving log log of 5 x plus 5 minus log of 5 2 x plus 2 and both are on the left hand side so it's quite uh, uh, easy to solve you don't need to rearrange you just need to apply logarithmic laws so remember for these types of equation you keep three laws of log in your mind the law number one is if two numbers in a different log are added like log of a plus log of b in case of addition you are going to multiply when within a single log so log of a b Similarly, the second rule is if uh, two numbers with log are being subtracted, log a minus log b, so you write as a single log in the quotient form, so log of a minus log of b. And the third law of log is if some number is before log a log of b, then this number which is before log comes in the power of b and you can write as log of b to the power a so first of all if you see that you have a uh, two logs with the uh, minus sign in between so you can apply second law but if you see the first term 2 is before log so you need to take 2 in the power of uh, x plus 5 and then you apply minus law uh, law of the log so uh, I'm doing a step by step so first of all this 2 goes up and it becomes log of 5 x plus 5 whole squared minus log of 5 2 x plus 2 equal to 2 and then if you see that you have a 2 logs and in uh, uh, minus in between so you you can apply the second rule or second law you can write x plus 5 whole square and 2x plus 2 uh, as a quotient in a single log so log of 5 uh, in a single log x plus 5 whole square divided by 2x plus 2 equal 2 Later on, you because we need to find exact value of x, that means we need to get rid of this log of 5 here. We need to get rid of. And how do we do that? We just remove this uh, log 5. Basically, the actual step is we, are, we, we take anti-log. Uh, anti-log means we remove this log and on the other side of the equation, whatever we have, all the things or the number goes to the power of that base of the log that means when I remove this log 5 so I'm going to write oh, sorry uh, this is being removed so on the uh, left hand side we have only x plus 5 whole square divided by 2x plus 2 equal this 2 goes to the power of 5 because why 5 because the base uh, of the log is 5 so this 2 is go uh, goes into the power of 5 this is the technique that we remove log from 
an equation now you see that we don't have a logarithmic equation anymore it is simple algebraic equation you can use cross multiply and uh, opening formula x plus 5 whole square so if you cross multiply and opening formula so you have x squared plus 10x plus 25 on the left hand side and on the right hand side 5 square is 25 multiplied by these two terms so it will give you 50x plus 50 and you rearrange and you can have a quadratic equation x squared minus 40x minus 25 equals 0 and uh, this is a, a quadratic equation if you can factorize but I don't think uh, that you can uh, we will be in, uh, able to factorize this because in question they are saying that we need to give answer in the form of thirds so don't need to waste time to think about the factor we just apply quadratic formula to, to solve this equation so x is equal to uh, minus b minus b is minus of minus 40 plus minus minus 40 squared b squared minus 4ac a is 1 and c is minus 25 a square root upon 2a and 2 into 1 and if you solve this so x is equal to 40 plus minus minus 40 squared due to square this minus is gone so it's 1600 and minus and minus is plus 4 times 1 times 25 it is 100 so 1600 plus 100 becomes 1700 inside the root over 2 and then this 1700 you can write as 40 plus minus 1700 can be written as 100 times 17 divided by 2a and 100 can comes out from uh, can come out from from the root as 10 so it will be 40 plus minus 10 inside you have a root 17 divided by 2 and then you can remember this is most common mistake generally students do uh, they think that the 40 here and 2 underneath sometimes they cancel 2 and 40 and they think that this is 20 you cannot cancel this 40 and 2 until you have some factor because this 40 is not a factor of numerator this is term in the numerator so first if you see that you have a 40 here plus minus 10 now I can take uh, I can take two common here so two common then we have a 20 plus minus 5 root 17 divided by 2 now you can see that uh, in the numerator you have a 2 as a factor now we can cancel this uh, 2 and then 2 finally we have an answer x is equal to 20 plus minus 5 root 17 this is the uh, answer for x or solution for x in the form of thirds so 20 plus minus 5 root 17 thank you very much have a nice time